Turn to the very eventful night that happened in Washington, D.C., making headlines this morning for a variety of reasons. In his second State of the Union address, President Biden praised the American story of progress and resilience and urged the politically divided Congress to work with him. But we begin with this moment of unscripted drama before the speech even began. Look at this on your screen, a tense exchange between Republican Senator Mitt Romney, not a fan of Donald Trump, and embattled New York Congressman George Santos, who Trump supported. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller is live outside Santos' field office in Douglaston, Queens, with the swift overnight fallout. Derek? And Ken, not only is Santos not resigning, he decided to perch himself in a prime position last night for the president's State of the Union address, angering at least one fellow Republican. Take a look at this. He was just steps away from President Biden last night on the House floor. Cameras also caught Santos in a testy back and forth with Mitt Romney, the Utah senator telling reporters he told the freshman congressman, you don't belong here. Santos claims he replied with an expletive, calling Romney the A word. Now, earlier in the day, a handful of Santos constituents from Queens and Long Island took a bus to D.C., hand delivering 1,000 signatures, demanding House leadership call for a vote to expel Santos from Congress. They also paid a visit to his office, but were not allowed inside. Where are you, George? Emails, nobody got a response, and he's not here to meet with us. That's unacceptable. Well, does he have an office or does he have a hideout? What is going on here? We want to be represented. Is that asking so much? If you are a representative, where are you? You're a representative in absentia. You're nowhere to be found. You don't answer calls, emails. That's not a representative. We need someone who's going to advocate for the citizens yes. of District 3. So speaking of representing in absentia, take a look at the awning outside his office. It still bears his predecessor's name, really points to the dysfunction that's happening in his office. And he is under multiple investigations as we speak.